What's going on guys? How's it going? Just having a little fun with this video. So we'll start off with the computer here. This is a 1990 Macintosh portable. So I haven't damaged the computer in any way. I saved all the original parts, but I've just added a few new parts to it. So this laptop here was in pretty rough shape. It was actually the worst one I have. What have I done to the computer to actually make it work? Well, you can see here that I've replaced the screen. I've installed an eight inch screen. It is a fully functional computer. I'm actually cheating. <laughs> if you look over here, I have a keyboard and a mouse. I don't want to try to trick you guys because the actual keyboard and mouse inside, I did not get that operational. Because I'm in the middle of nowhere here, I'm running the computer off this 10 amp hour 12 volt battery and an inverter. All right, so this is a work in progress. I need some improvements. I want to upgrade the screen here. So for the screen, I mounted it just with some foam in the back. Uh, what I want to do is I want to change that out. So let's pop this open, show you what's inside here. So inside here, I have a single board computer. So they actually call this single board computer here an Atomic Pi. So it's a quad core processor. So I did quite a bit of research on this to get this going and, and to figure out all the components and the wiring of this board. So if you look on the bottom here, I've added a power plug, I've added a, a USB 2, and I've actually added a power switch to it. So if you see a lot of videos, they don't have the power switch, your wires are right there for your power switch. So I have two power supplies in here because I actually ordered the smaller ones and I thought they would be enough. This one here is supposed to be a six amp, five volt, and this one's a four. And so I have the six amp connected to the board to power the board. So I've added a USB three hub and I've powered it. So that's what these wires here. This power supply here is powering the screen and it's powering the USB hub. Also what's inside here, the wireless antennas. So I ordered a bunch of these wireless antennas and I've connected them all up just in case. You shouldn't power up the board without the antennas just in case. So the Atomic Pi board has quite a few features on it. We have an SD slot. It has HDMI, USB 3, only one. So it has a LAN plug, wireless. It has Bluetooth. It doesn't really need a fan. It is getting pretty warm to the touch, but it doesn't really need a fan. I could put a little fan in here. So the cost of the computer, the screen was maybe about $25. Atomic Pie was maybe $50, I can't remember. And then these little power supplies, you can get them for five, six bucks. Fairly cheap and fun project to put together. It's got some weight to it. It's one of those Russian dolls. So it really is a micro board. The pictures, it looks, it looks a lot bigger than this. It's actually really tiny. There's my hand. It's not even as big as my hand. That's the whole computer right there. That's pretty cool. So we can shut this down. Here's your screen on and off. Macintosh portable laptop. Show you inside. hard drive, some extended RAM and ROM slots. Not sure what that one's for. There's a modem in here. Dial up. This is where the battery was. And the battery was completely shot in it, so I just bypassed, soldered some wires onto the contacts and ran a wire out of the laptop to a power supply so I could turn it on. Okay, so I'm just gonna turn on the laptop now. There's a switch on the side here, you push forward, just hit any key. There's a few things on here. And I just increased the brightness on the screen. I can't believe the thing works. That was a look at a Macintosh portable from 1990. Thanks for watching.